Joe Goldberg is back to his old tricks, huh? He is, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he's always, he's consistent. He's always doing the same thing. He's just surrounded by new people in a new place. And mm. then basically you're waiting to see how long it is before people start dying. And usually it's the end of episode one. Yeah, it was pretty Here it quick. is, right there. End of episode one, always. It was pretty quick this year. Uh, you did leak your own teaser <laughs> on Instagram. Did I? So, yes, remember you, you wrote, felt cute, my oh, sweet yeah, yeah. later. You <laughs> yeah. forgot? Yes. No, but, the, but, but, it, but it was just, a, it was a, it was a, it wasn't like, um, it was the poster. It was the poster. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so that's... tease for me this season. What can, uh, we, what can we expect? Well, I mean, yes, Joe is, he's, he's up to his old, he's not quite up to his old tricks, right? Because, so have you seen the whole thing? And I can't spoil it. Yes, but I mean, yeah. so, he, so, he is so and the, he isn't. Early so, on, he is. Yeah, so, so, so basically, the, Joe is the same Joe, but the tables are turned. Mm. He is now the hunted. He's no longer the hunter. But he's got to hunt for the hunter. So he's still the hunter. He's just also being hunted. Um, so it's a bit like that episode with Carrie in the woods from season three with the bow. I don't know if anybody remembers this one. Anyway, he's being hunted in that episode. Uh, yeah, so I mean, he's in London and um, mm -hmm. he's trying to make a new life. Mm -hmm which he's been pretty successful at. He's got an incredible wardrobe and an incredible apartment, nice. even though he's got, he's, got, he's got some money, which you find out how he yes. has. You find out everything, in, I think, in the first episode. Yeah. Um, he's, he's trying to change because he's Joe Goldberg. He's, he's thoroughly incapable of it. Yeah. And you are just basically, I think basically you're waiting in a really delicious way to see how he hasn't changed. Did you enjoy that now he has turned from predator to prey. Did you enjoy kind of having a more fearful Joe this season? Joe isn't, I don't think he's fearful as much as, yes, so I did enjoy the change. Yeah. But I don't feel like he's um, afraid as much as he becomes desperate and like uh, ragey. Mm. You know what I mean? Like he's not afraid, he's like, um, he becomes sort of like ferocious inside but silent and so it's not the same as, um, but it is desperate and scrambling. I like Joe when he's in me danger, too. you know, when he's like just <laughs> trying to figure things out. Me too, me yeah. too, because we don't expect it. Um, I love your podcast. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's really cool because we don't always get to see an actor of your status have these intimate conversations. Mm. Were you nervous to enter this? Why did you want to enter this new kind of format? <laughs> well, to be honest, so uh, the, the, the four of us, um, my co-producer Nava Kavlin and my co-host uh, Sophie Ansari and David Ansari, our engineer and producer, also yeah. uh, married to Sophie. So it's the four of us. We created the concept back in like 2020 when I was shooting season three, I think. Um, we had the idea then and we thought, let's, it was COVID, everything was moving really slow, trying to develop other like series and films so right. it was sort of like you know what let's do something fast yeah nearly three years later it is not fast <laughs> it is it is not time. fast to produce anything um we really did want to uh at first i think the idea was do something light and funny and just have people tell middle school stories and that would be that mm. and then somewhere along the way when we had people submit stories we thought okay you know i can narrate them and that can become a thing, and we'll just talk about the stories. But then we realized we needed to have celebrity guests unless we're gonna produce this whole journalistic enterprise, and so then we're like, all right, so we're a celebrity interview show talking about middle school. And then basically, no one's really paying attention to the narrated stories as much as they're, of course, there for the conversations with yeah. the guests, because that's what the whole episode is about. So yeah. now, we've basically jettisoned the narrated stories uh, for season two. We're, 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 we're going to have them in a way, but it's just not the same. The focus is, is really on the conversations with our guests, and, and we use those as like a portal um, to conversations about everything and anything. But, you know, when you're like 12 years old, if you, if you think, you know, mm -hmm. you, anybody watching, think of when you're 12 and 13 years it's old. Cute. Where you were, what you were doing. It usually can be, you know, it really does range from very light and funny and whatever to mm -hmm. like quite deep, you know, mm -hmm. it's like it's, 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 it's a lot to think of what's happening at that time. And so, you know, we keep attracting a really interesting kind of diverse group of people. I mean, we've had Conan on, 
I heard I listened to that episode before this. Like, he was great. That's wild. he's a big fan of Gossip Girl. Yeah, apparently. he is. Evidently, this. I mean, yeah, I was so blown away. Yeah, I enjoyed um, that. Um, and you are on TikTok. You're new to TikTok, which I feel like twelve year old Penn would think. I don't know what he would think. Maybe you could tell me. Twelve year old Penn would be trying to figure out what on earth social media is. Frankly, <laughs> true, true. Um, but TikTok has welcomed you with open arms. Very I, much. You have like forty million, ten million views. Yeah. Um, the Taylor one. Did you? Yeah. You were one of the first to do that. Did you expect to go viral? I, I mean, I think I had a sense that it would. Mm. Um, you know, I made that, we, we made that in the middle of a bunch of other Pod Crush TikToks, actually, too, in uh, Sophie and David's apartment. Everybody was, like, in the comments thinking, what apartment is this guy in? Like, where? <laughs> um, it's theirs, just so you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it was just perfect timing. It I was, was perfect. I, I was waiting to get on social media. Sorry, social media. I was waiting to get on TikTok. I was waiting to get on TikTok. Yeah. Um, for I think maybe a year and a half, I thought I'll, I'll I, if the when the moment is right, I'll do it. And then her record came out, and it just seemed like. Are you Swifty? I I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Be careful! The Swifties are watching. No, this is the thing. I can't say that I'm a Swiftie because like I wouldn't be able to recite her lyrics. Okay. You know the way like a true Swiftie is a true Swiftie, mm. and I don't want to do them a disservice or a discredit. Mm. But I really respect and admire her. Mm. Me too. I'm a big Swiftie. Uh, you had Megan Trainer, and you totally went viral with the uh, her new single. Her dance, yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed your combo. <laughs> Did you see she's having baby number two? She just announced. Oh really? Oh, yeah. that's weird because I actually thought she had two kids. Yeah. And she corrected me in the podcast, and then I don't think she told us that she was pregnant. She wasn't when she went on. Oh. Well, okay, she might have okay, been, okay, but she okay, wasn't yeah, talking yeah, she wasn't about talk it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it was cool to oh, see. that's cool. Yeah, I loved hearing you guys talking about parenting and stuff because obviously you have a little guy. Mm, How's yeah. he doing? Any like big milestones? I mean, you know, he's talking a lot. He's like, uh, he says you instead of me. Like he, <gasps> like instead of saying like I'm hungry or like I'm finished, he'll be like, Are you all finished? And I'll be like, Are you all finished? And he's like, Yeah. <laughs> oh it's very funny. Yeah. That is so cute. Is, what yeah. a cutie. You and Joe had infants around the same time. It's true, yeah, very Very much. drastic experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think, mm, yeah, no, our, our experiences of fatherhood are very different. For instance, my son is still with me. Mm. <laughs> yes. It's very sad. You haven't abandoned Yeah, I haven't abandoned him. <laughs> the way Joe has. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, so I know you know that, uh, that Joe is the internet zaddy. I know you know because I yeah, see yeah, you yeah. responding yeah. to these people's <laughs> toys. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Why, what is it? Why are, why can people not get enough of Joe? And let me tell you, it's no different for season four. They are so excited. Um, well, we've designed the guy to be very charming. Mm. You know, he isn't just a murderer. He's, he, we've created a trope, you know. We, it's like he's not a real person. He's too many things to be real. He's too good at too many things, you know what I mean? Um, and, he's, and he's too, like, empathetic when he needs to be. He's too um, emotionally grounded when he needs to be, you know? He's, 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 he's ultimately not a real person. He's a device we're using to explore what we think of love. And so for that reason, he's just, he's kind of all things at once. And, and in a way, I get it. Like, how could you not, how could you not like him? You know? mm. And it seems fitting we're in the library at Netflix right now because mm -hmm. Joe had a library. Uh, he worked at a library. Every season, almost, I mean, right? Yeah, there's something about books and Joe that yeah. really... Because he, I mean, he likes books more than people because they're controlled experiences, I think. You know, a spontaneous relationship is too much for him. He's too, um, the, seeing the best in him, he's too hurt, he's too wounded, he's too traumatized. Seeing the worst in him, he's, he's become a monster and he's too manipulative. He's too controlling. He doesn't, you know. Yeah. It's also those sexy voiceovers the girls like. Yeah. I don't know that your wife ever, do you ever do this at all? <laughs> oh, no. no, because it's not, it's not, it's. It's, it's, to me, it's not as sexy as it is, like, um, it's meant to be, like, a, he's kind of, it's animalistic in a way, like, and so, and so, to me, it, in real life, it's very, um, uh, it's not that enticing. Mm. It sounds nice in theory, but it's not... Mm. Yeah, in real life, I think it's like it's 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 not it's not the right note. You mm. know, if you actually hear someone speak like that to you, it's like, ooh, would you relax, bro? Would you just like chill? A hundred percent. The f out. <laughs> I agree. You know, but you hear it, and it's like, mm. 
you know, when you're at home yeah, clicking yeah, through yeah. Netflix exactly. and you're listening yeah. to <laughs> Joe Goldberg, you get, yeah. you know, apparently people get excited. Yeah, evidently. Uh, we did this with Austin Butler. He And I know you've seen them because you've responded to them. These are tweets okay. that people have, have tweeted at yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. I'm determined to find something wrong with him. Entering my Joe Goldberg era. I like that. So that's saying, I can't see a picture here. That's like, uh, that's like they're saying, I need to find something wrong with this dude. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm in my Joe Goldberg era? They're just or, obsessed. They oh, just, no, they're talking about me. Yes. Oh. <laughs> they're talking about you. <laughs> oh, I'm determined to find. Yeah, that's fair. Find something wrong. Find something wrong. Do it, please. Uh, my type is Joe Goldberg from you. I like him crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least you're acknowledging it. Joe Goldberg is 1,000% better with a beard. I agree. Hottest psychopath of the year goes to Penn Badgley. Well, that's not fair because I'm not a psychopath. You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. It goes to Joe Goldberg. Also, how many hot psychopaths are there? I would, as a woman There's... in her 30s dating, I would say a lot. Okay, all right, yep. fair. Mm -hmm. All right, I defer to you. <laughs> all right. More than less, okay. yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> at Penn Badgley, I'm telling you, it, this is my age show when I say at Penn Badgley. A little Is bit. That... <laughs> okay, I just put that there so you knew they were talking yeah, to you. Mm -hmm, yeah. At Penn Badgley, I'm telling you, it's your face that does it. You're gorgeous. I can see past that crazy shit. LOL. Uh, you need to put an apostrophe and an E on your There's just. A lot I, of I get it. I get it. I get it. No, I get it. I'm not going to shame your grammar. It's the wrong thing to do. Thank you for the. Thank you for the compliment. Um, didn't I respond to this one? You did. I did. And I, I said, don't remember what you and said. And I said, this was years ago. And I had to, I said like, uh, yeah. you know you need to see past it. To, yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you yeah, did. Yeah. Thank you, Penn. I'm very excited. Season four, dive in, everybody. Yes, please dive lots in. Lots of bludgeoning, yeah. lots of scary